Oh, well, I must be doing the video announcements this week. So, hello, uh, my name is Shane Welter. Uh, I serve as the Director of Worship and Arts here at St. Luke's. Good morning, and yeah, I'll be sharing with you what's happening around St. Luke's this week. This last Wednesday, we just celebrated Ash Wednesday, which marked the beginning of this Lenten season. And for a few Wednesdays after that, um, at 7 p.m., we'll be continuing our new Lenten midweek series, The Cost of Discipleship. In this series, The Cost of Discipleship, uh, we're going to be taking a look at St. Luke's five discipleship values, which are worship, Bible study, prayer, life together, and mission of God. These are five core values um, as a family of faith, and each of these midweek services are going to be different and unique, dissecting these five core values. We'll also have a soup supper at 5.30 over in the great room. Uh, we're always looking for volunteers to bring soup, so if you want to show off your cooking skills or you just want to help, um, go to the Welcome Center, sign up, or just bring us soup on Wednesday. We're also doing something new this year. At 1 p.m., we're offering a supplemental service uh, to our midweek evening service, a, a prayer service, over in the chapel. Um, this service is primarily for people who can't make it to our 7 o'clock service. If you find it hard to drive at night or you have evening obligations, this 1 p.m. service is for you. With all these happenings, I hope to see you there. As followers of Jesus Christ and His Word, we proclaim the Word of God as missionaries to His Word, and we do so around this greater Seattle area. But if you're looking for ways to extend that reach, there's a great opportunity in Huna, Alaska. Huna, Alaska is a small community, a small village just outside of Juneau, Alaska. And St. Luke's has a partnership with that community there that we travel each summer uh, to proclaim that Word of God, to offer joy to these people. And if you want to learn more about this mission trip and this, this opportunity of spreading God's Word, you can do so next Sunday at 9.30 in room 312 for an informational meeting about Huna, Alaska. Now you might remember a few months back we had our fall kickoff event and for our fall kickoff event we had a very special friend join us and that was Isaac the Comfort Dog. And the reason we brought Isaac in was with the hope that someday St. Luke's could have our very own Comfort Dog. And with a Comfort Dog it expands the reaches of our ministry and helps meet so many more people in need through just conversation. And I thought I'd give you guys an update on where things are at. Uh, in this process of obtaining a comfort dog. Now, in order to get a comfort dog, it is a long process, anywhere from one to two to three years long. And one of these steps in the process is finding a top dog. And this top dog is the person who's the primary care handler of the dog. St. Luke's very own Stephanie Parasel has agreed to be the top dog handler of this comfort dog. Um, and so she's begun her training uh, in this process. We've still got a little bit of ways to go, but it's a small step in a bigger picture of the ministries that are happening here at St. Luke's. So thank you for your support. Thank you for your prayers in this process. And it's exciting as we look forward together uh, in this walk of faith. Now that's all I've got time to share with you this morning, but for more of what's going on at St. Luke's, pick up a What's Happening sheet in the lobby, visit our website, or go to our Church Center app uh, when you've got a moment. Have a great Sunday.